Someone's indeed going to take him. Jack Grealish now. Let's talk about him because with Sergio Aguero set to depart Manchester City, now everyone's being linked with a move to Manchester City. And such person is Jack Grealish. He's been linked with Man United. That didn't happen. So could Man City be suited to the Aston Villa man and it would break the Villa faithful's hearts? Well, it would, but you think it's inevitable that sometime he's going to leave. Um, is it going to be to City? I'm not so sure right now that the way he plays the game suits the way City play the game. Listen, Jack Grealish is the most foul player in the Premier League for a reason, and that's because he holds on to the ball a lot uh, and attracts people to foul him. Man City don't play that way. Pep doesn't play that way. He wants the ball to keep circulating, keep moving, so that the opposition don't get an opportunity to make a challenge on you. Now, could Jack Grealish adjust to that? Um, I'm sure he could with his ability. But as I said, right now, it, it just doesn't seem the right fit, the way that right now Jack Grealish plays the game. Well, speaking of Manchester City, um, Erling Haaland's also been linked with a move to the City. But if you saw the news that ESPN managed to um, put out this week with the reports of Mino Raiola and Erling Haaland's father in Barcelona to start talks, um, to probably move there, um, do you think he's going to leave Dortmund this summer? And if so, would Barcelona make sense? I certainly think they're thinking about it. I don't believe that his agent and his dad are going to be going to... To, they're certainly not just going to go to Barcelona. They're going to be going around all the clubs that that they think either could afford or or would or he would like to go and play with. Uh, that's Ellen Allen, of course. Uh, and so they're not doing that unless there is an opportunity that it might come to fruition. And so I think what they're doing is getting the ducks in a row, uh, and that tells you that yes, there's a possibility this could happen in the summer. Probably the trigger for that as probably most people have said, is that if Dortmund don't get in the Champions League, because this is a, this is a guy who wants to play in the Champions League, uh, and clearly if that didn't happen, that would maybe just speed the process up. So I don't think it's um, a decision that they've made. I just think they're doing the right thing and going around and seeing what's available and what they might like to happen. And finally, Stevie, let's talk about one close to your heart, um, Liverpool-related with Mo Salah. He's been talking in this international break. Some interesting um, comments about his future, saying things like, quote, you know, his Liverpool future is not up to me. Um, he's leaving the door open to a move to Spain. But, of course, reiterating that he still is very happy with Jurgen Klopp, that they're both professionals. So what's going to happen, Stevie? Should Liverpool cash in on a move now? Is, this, is he hinting that this really could happen at least in this summer? Well, first of all, I hate when players talk about their contract that way. They'll tell you that they're open to it and then they tell you they're happy. How about you just say you're happy then? I mean, I, just, I, I don't like it whatsoever. Um, it makes no sense. It just puts more pressure on you and the club. Maybe that's what he's trying to do. Maybe he's trying to force the club. Uh, but Liverpool have shown they won't be forced into anything that they don't think is is the best thing for them in the future because, you know, the family group so far have done everything about the future. Um, and they'll decide, not Mo Salah, they'll decide whether the future for Liverpool includes Mo Salah. And if they think he's not, then they will make the move at the right time to cash in uh, on the unquestionable ability that Mo Salah has. Personally, though, I wish Mo would just keep his mouth closed uh, and let everybody do the talking. Just say you're happy uh, and you'd love to stay. And whether it's the truth or not, then it stops the speculation and it keeps all the fans happy. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.